G'day Frothers, welcome back. And today, very special episode. I'm very excited to be sharing this little thing here. So this is the new Makita 12 volt battery. I understand it is meant to be high output, although you wouldn't know it's anything special because looking at the markings, it just says five amp hour. I mean, come on guys. If it's meant to be good or special or whatever, you really should advertise it, Makita, why not? And they're also 21700 cells, so that's why it is wider, because 21 millimeters by 700 millimeters long, much bigger than the cells in the old style battery. Four amp hour weighs 376 grams, five amp hour weighs 314. So I have an array of Makita 12 volt tools. Now, I, uh, I actually really like these guys. They're kind of my go-to little jobbies around the house. Before getting these, my main tool set was uh, Milwaukee M18. And honestly, I don't make a living with my tools. So if I just want little things to grab and go, Milwaukee was just way too big and expensive and overkill for most of my needs. So I ended up getting the Makita 12 volt range because here in Australia anyway, much, much cheaper than Milwaukee. My main requirement was a really light rotary hammer for uh, remote work, but I really like the, the rest of the 12 volt system because it's light, it's capable, and it's cheap. I have, say, a jigsaw. You know, I think I got this for under 100 bucks, maybe around 100 bucks. I don't remember exactly, but if I was gonna be getting a Milwaukee jigsaw, that'd be more like 300 or a Makita 18 volt jigsaw, probably in the 200. So pretty easy decision to make for tools that you're not really gonna use very often, but you know, I might use a jigsaw maybe twice a year or something. So perfectly happy getting a smaller, less powerful one. So anyway, I have a selection of tools, not just rotary hammers, and I'm gonna be comparing the new five amp hour battery to the old four amp hour battery. Let's see how she goes. First up, 75 mil cabinet screw, fully charged. Well, that was pretty close, no obvious difference to me, so let's keep going. Okay, a little brushless drill. That is a 13 millimeter spade bit. So spade bits are a good test of output because there's a lot of resistance, constant resistance on there. A lot more current draw coming off the motor. Didn't seem to make a difference there, so I'll try a bigger size, 16 millimeters. Seems pretty similar. 19 millimeters. Aha. I found the limit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not seeing a massive difference in performance here. Certainly nothing so far to suggest that that's high output really. Little circular saw and I'll just go through as fast as I can. I'll try and go even faster actually. Okay, so firstly, this saw is actually pretty good. I've never just tried, you know, really going for it. I'm usually doing it for small, delicate jobs, but also I'm not really feeling any difference. I wasn't able to get that to stall uh, in either case. Okay, and I'm sorry to everyone who's being driven crazy by how unlevel this timber is, but my wall is not level, and also that fence isn't level either. Okay, so jigsaw, cutting through a bit of framing timber, not what you'd normally use a jigsaw for, but it's convenient, and it should be a solid test. Okay, so at the end of all of that wood testing, they are both on four stars. So these little tools, um, pretty low draw, I suppose. Even the brushed ones, like that's brushed, that is brushed, uh, that is also brushed. Oh, one of the rotary hammers is brushed too. We'll see that in a second. So far, I haven't noticed any difference at all. 
By now you would have seen the timing on the screen, so you would have a better idea than I do. But uh, so far, I don't know, it seems like it's just a bigger capacity battery. All right, concrete time. So here we have my very first ever baby hammer and probably the tool that started this entire YouTube channel, the beautiful Makita HR166. And also the brushed version of that, the HR140. So I have two drill bits. These are actually from Climbing Taiwan. I've got an eight millimeter. They're usually pretty tight, might have a bit more resistance and a 12 millimeter. So let's start with the brushless drill, eight millimeters. So that is classic small rotary hammer problem there. You're usually drilling small holes, which do not have very much room on the sides. They go in really tight. And believe it or not, the tiniest hammers often need a bit more torque than you'd think. Just there, the four amp delivered more than the five amp. 12 millimeter. And after all that, they are on three stars each now. So this is the brush tool. Should see a bit more of a difference if it needs more current here. 12 millimeters. Okay, so that was cool. The brush tool was a lot more sensitive to the two different batteries, but the four amp hour, the old one, actually kicked in faster. Okay, so let's try the eight millimeters. Okay, so the four definitely lagged less than the five. Okay, so after all of that testing, they all did the same amount of work. They are both on two stars. So I checked the battery voltage when they were fresh off the charger. Fresh off the charger, 12.51 volts for the five amp hour and 12.54 for the four amp hour. So just to compare to that, okay, 10.96, 97 and 11.14. All right guys, so that's been pretty interesting. Um, as I'm filming this, I don't know any of the timings. I don't know if one is slightly better than the other. I did try and run all these little tools as hard as I could. So the things that we got stalls on were the drill driver, five amp stalled more there, and the rotary hammer, the brushed rotary hammer, five amp stalled more there as well. So this battery I've had for a few years I think it's a 2019 model, believe it or not. And this one is brand new, just got it this week, and it's had three charging cycles. So it could be that, you know, to unleash its full potential, you need a few more charge discharge cycles. But really, unless there's something very magical inside this little thing, I can't really see it getting much better. That said, I am very happy to have bigger capacity batteries because I do like using these guys because this is my tool of choice for working remotely and a four amp hour battery just didn't quite cut it. So having more battery capacity than the four amp hour, definitely a good thing. So I can see why they're not advertising it as high output, even though theoretically the cells probably should be a bit better. But then this one has more cells. So I think what's happening there is basically the more cells in here are trumping the fewer cells in here. But being a first for Makita, I think this is probably a bit of a soft launch and they're gonna start rolling out more batteries like this over time just to you know improve things now unlike uh, i guess milwaukee especially is the big one with their high output batteries um, i i think makita is basically just designing their tools to go with their batteries whereas milwaukee is designing their tools to be as powerful as they can um, and just you know planning on releasing better batteries later on you know the tools are kind of hobbled at now you get a better battery in a few years and then it'll work to its full potential I don't think Makita operates that way. I think Makita builds a tool 
for a battery and then that's basically it and so that's why everyone is always asking for higher output batteries and that's why they've never released them so i think what this new battery is telling us is basically makita is going to be releasing a whole bunch more tools probably reviving the 12 volt line uh which is which is great because i think 12 volt tools are awesome so guys i'm sorry i can't be more definitive about what this thing is for now it's still pretty early days but i suspect they're just basically trying out uh, a new sort of cell arrangement inside here but compared to going to a totally different battery technology like your pouch cells like in the dewalt power stacks and stuff like that a lot easier to just change the cell inside the battery so anyway guys hopefully this has been interesting for you at least i wouldn't really go rushing out to buy one of these guys um, unless you know you really need some new batteries for makita but i do think it means that they're going to start releasing new 12 volt tools which is great because a lot of the 12 volt tools are actually still brushed so i think they're basically just going to be updating their entire 12 volt line so anyway hammerheads thanks for watching uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscription is how the world goes around on youtube and uh yeah i'll scratch you later sorry forwards